Hello, very beautiful, beloved soul friends. Welcome to another Conversations with Kristen. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. I'm really, really, really indescribably grateful that you exist on this planet exactly as you are. Thank you for being you and thank you for being here and joining me in my, with my YouTube content. So today, I want to talk about how we can welcome ourselves into the newness of each day. So there's this really mystical experience that happens where once a day, approximately, we lay our bodies horizontally on some kind of soft-ish surface and we allow ourselves to lose consciousness for an extended period of time. <laughs> <laughs> this is called sleep. <laughs> um, it's just this very mystical um, experience where we invite ourselves to just lose consciousness. <laughs> and in that process, our brains are traveling, our bodies are traveling. Um, and what's happening is that our brains are as active and engaged as we are when we're awake, but we're not aware of it. And so while our conscious awareness is taking a break, taking a rest, everything else inside of us is still doing all of its stuff. Our brain is still doing all of this processing, but our conscious mind doesn't know about it. So there's a lot of traveling that happens when we sleep, where our neural networks are activating and engaging information and, and, and going through all of these processes, but we're not aware of it. And so it can be really helpful um, to welcome ourselves into each brand new day as if we just returned from travels. As if we just returned from travels. So like imagine um, your, <laughs> imagine your housemate just got back. <laughs> Hopefully this sounds not too loud for you guys. Um, imagine that your housemate just got back from a trip and they just got back from like Japan or England or something. And so they just get home and you they walk in the door. Are you like, hello, good to see you again? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but what would be more fun is to be like, oh my gosh, hey, welcome home. How was your trip? Like, wow, like you were gone like two weeks. Like I haven't seen you in two weeks. Like a lot happens in two weeks. Like it's good to see you. Like welcome home. Like, wow, like it's good to see you again. It's been a while and you've had adventures and I've had all these experiences and like it would be good to just like connect with you at some point. And so we can welcome ourselves into the newness of each day as if we just returned home from a trip because our conscious mind is returning home while the rest of our consciousness was going through all of these journeys that we don't necessarily know about. Like maybe we have dreams, maybe we remember them, but a lot of times all the processes our brain goes through while we're sleeping, we don't really know about. And so our inner selves have had all of these excursions and we're being reunited with ourselves as we wake up. So it really, really helps to start each day by welcoming ourselves into the newness of the moment as if we just returned home from a trip. Welcome yourself into the day as if a housemate who you really love and enjoy and appreciate and admire and you're really close friends with just came home from a really long international excursion. And when this happens, what you can do is a few different things. So the first thing you can do is when you wake up, before you force thoughts, before you force action, before you, you know, oh, I gotta, I gotta get up, I gotta open my eyes, I gotta lift my body from this bed. Before you do that, before you do that, just take a big deep breath. Before you open your eyes, before you force any thought or think any things or respond to your thoughts, before you lift yourself from bed, take a big deep breath and connect with your breath. Feel your breath. Choose the pace at which it's going in and out. This is going to be a game changer. I promise you, it's a game changer. It connects our inner being so that when we respond to our thoughts or when we force ourselves to open our eyes or lift our body from bed, more of us is connected than it otherwise would be. And so pausing when we first wake up, before we do anything, before we think thoughts, before we open our eyes, before we lift ourselves from bed, before we do anything, just take a big deep breath and connect with your breath. Let that be the way that you first welcome yourself into the day. Like if a housemate is getting home, the first thing they do when they walk in the door, you're like, 
oh my god we have to clean the house we have to do all these things we have to do come on come on like i know you just got home but come on let's go let's clean the house let's do this stuff it's time to get moving no no that's not how you welcome a friend home no don't do that <laughs> don't do that that's not how to welcome someone home you're like hey like can i help you with your bags like like, hey, like, you know, take a breather. I know you've been traveling. Like, just take a, you know, take a breather. Just take a moment to yourself. And then, like, you know, when you're, like, settled in after getting back from your trip, like, we'll talk. Welcome yourself into the newness of each day as if you're welcoming a friend home from a big, long trip. Don't wake up and be like, okay, I got to do this. I got to do this. Yeah, maybe you got to do stuff. But don't let that be the way that you welcome yourself into the day. Don't start your day like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> It's not going to feel good. <laughs> it's not going to feel good. So start by taking a big deep breath and just connecting with your breath. Once you're connected with your breath, then welcome yourself into the newness of the day with love. And this could be by looking in a mirror and being like, hey, you, looking forward to sharing this day with you. Or it could look like just saying something kind to yourself, like, I'm grateful I'm alive, or thank you for being alive, or I'm really grateful that I get to be in a new experience with life and with me. Or, welcome to a brand new day. I've never been in this day before. What's going to happen is is not guaranteed. It's not, you know, pre-written. Like, something new could happen today, you know? Like, it's a day I've never experienced before. Maybe I can be open to, to it having something good in it. And when you welcome yourself into the day like that, it shifts the energy inside of your brain and your body that can actually impact how experience unfolds. Because everything is energy and our thoughts are energy and our feelings are energy and the way we perceive and respond and make decisions and react and all of these things are energy. And when we start our day with an energy of love and tenderness and openness, it actually shifts the way our neurobiology engages and adjusts the way that our consciousness naturally encounters life experience. And when these practices become daily habits, it can actually change our neurobiological wiring so that waking up has more joy in it automatically. So welcome yourself into each new day as if you're welcoming a dearly beloved friend home from a big, long excursion, a big trip. Be gentle, be loving, be open, be gracious. Let that energy be the way that you welcome yourself into the newness of each day because it's going to affect how your entire day, uh, day unfolds. In those first few minutes of awakening, in those first, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes of the day, our subconscious is most open, most open to suggestion. And the way we energetically welcome ourselves into the day influences our subconscious energy that creates all of the different interpretations of life experience. All of the thoughts that we automatically think, all of the different narrative that's automatically generated, all the different sensations automatically going through our body, all of it's coming from activation of our subconscious realms. And when we welcome ourselves into a brand new day with love, that love affects our subconscious realms and it can help us heal from the inside out. It can help life experience be a lot better than it otherwise would be. So, healing journey game time. Welcome yourself into the newness of each day as if you're welcoming home a dearly beloved friend from a really big long trip. You travel while you sleep. Give yourself grace to breathe and be in the morning. Whether it's just taking a couple deep breaths or whether you, you know, do like a meditation to welcome yourself in the day or you go for a walk in nature, you do some gentle yoga or, you know, you can make a practice of it. But even if you don't have some, you know, routine, at least take a big deep breath before you think thoughts or force yourself to get out of bed. And then just say one kind thing to yourself. Just one. It can just be one sentence. It doesn't have to be a big, a big theme about. Just say one sentence of something loving to welcome yourself into the newness of the day. Let that energy set the tone for the rest of your day. You deserve to feel the great expanse of your own love. And every day is brand new. Our brains and our bodies will automatically create projections from past experiences which can limit and reduce the newness of the day. The day will just feel like another day, like all the other days. But 
it's a new day. Anything can happen. And when we greet ourselves and create space for the newness of the day, it helps to deactivate the automated projections from our brain and our body. It helps us have more regulation and more presence and more openness, and it can actually help us to heal and become more of the wholeness that we truly are. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you're ever interested in my products or services, I have a consciousness consultancy where uh, I offer my consciousness consultancy services and we share sacred healing space and walk through the healing journey of life, diving in deep uh, to provide you with the tools you need to understand your experiences and have renewed empowerment and have tangible tools so that you know how to respond to your experiences of consciousness to reclaim your power within them. You are the master of your unfolding storybook of life and you are allowed to reclaim the pen of how that book is written at any moment in time. If you're looking for at-home healing journey uh, programs or guides or resources, I also have several of those available. You can explore my website links below. You can email me anytime with questions or orders or to schedule a call at artistryofexistence at gmail.com. I would be honored to connect with you, soul friends. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for being you. I also have a few other links below if you want to check them out. There's some fun goodies down there. And if you enjoyed this video, or you got anything from it, or you just liked hanging out or anything, please feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe. I really appreciate your support on my channel. Thank you so much for being here, my beloved soul friends. I am so grateful that you exist exactly as you are. Namaste. The love and light in me see and honor the love and light in you. Have a beautiful and blessed day, my soul friends. I will see you next time.